Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumed channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the 8-way N95 respirator. These are made in the US. The Amazon listing states that these are a 5-layer respirator. We ordered a 10-pack which costs $28.97, making them $2.90 each. They have a 4.1 out of 5 rating with 62 reviews and they're being sold by 8-way. Let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. So this does contain all of the N95 requirements which are the manufacturer, the model, N95 NIR stamp, along with the TC approval number and the lot number. They do seem very rough and papery thin. So as you guys can see, both of the headbands are the same length. And it's just not ideal for these respirators to be like that since they do go around your head. One of them should be shorter and the other one should be longer. These are also a bifold respirator. So what I'm gonna do is flatten out the nose wire so I'm able to adjust it better on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it on now. The bottom headband is actually very loose on me and the top headband is very tight so it is digging in a little bit but I also do feel like I am getting some gaping on the sides. The nose wire is actually creating a good seal but I am getting a lot of leakage from the bottom of the face mask so I can actually put in a whole finger here because I'm not getting a good seal but that could be because like I said this band is very loose. In terms of breathability, I am having some difficulty breathing with these, so they might not be the most breathable. But we're going to see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the breathability. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the respirator is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot milk glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor and F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the face mask or respirator is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.84% with a pressure drop of 19.4 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.76 with a pressure drop of 18.3 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.61 and had a pressure drop of 19 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw from the TSI testing, these respirators had a pretty good filtration efficiency. However, as I did mention, these are a five layer respirator with two of those layers being melt blown. Typically, whenever you double up on the melt blown, the pressure drop will increase resulting of a less breathable mask. And that's exactly what happened with these. The results of the pressure drop was on the higher side, but they're still within the NIOSH requirements. When it comes to the fit and comfort, I didn't feel like I was getting a good seal on my face. Like I said, the lower band was very loose, so I wasn't getting a proper seal on the lower side of the face. And then the top side was very tight, so it was the headbands were digging a bit on my face. So they weren't the most comfortable N95 respirators. When it comes to the construction quality of these respirators, they aren't the best quality respirators in terms of construction as they did feel very papery and rough. Their listing did say that they are a medium size, which I agree with. But as I mentioned, both of the bands were the same length and it wasn't really creating a good fit on my face. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or just any other content that you would like to see on our channel in the comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in our description box, like our website, which is acumed.com, and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.